Welcome back, Sue. Hello. And uh, good to see you now in situ with, with your kitchen and your kitchen alia and, and some of your products. And, and, we, and the Labrador. And the Labrador. <laughs> this is Lottie of the Labrador. This is Lottie the Labrador. And she's beautiful. <laughs> I can see that you've now got, you're wearing a full-size apron. Yes. And uh, pink ducks, is that this the pattern is, you this call is that? This pink duck range. Okay. And um, I, 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 one of the things I found with um, aprons gen generally was that uh, the straps weren't long enough or too long. And the uh, neck strap was usually either too big or too small. So I have put an adjustable uh, thing um, so that I can make it longer or shorter, including the child's one too, um, because obviously children have this habit of growing. And then we also have a very useful little pocket. The children's has a double pocket. Some of my range don't have any pockets at all. And that's usually the country hair one, simply because it's such a beautiful picture that as soon as you try and put a pocket on, you're going to ruin that picture. So there are one or two that don't, but most of my aprons will have a, a useful pocket. The straps are a decent length. So if you're like me and you might quite like your food, um, it will still get around you and it won't be too skimpy. And you can do it up at the front or the back, depending on your preference. That's a nice little touch. A nice <laughs> little touch. And that's the same for the children's one? That's the same for the children's So too. mummy's little helper or so grandma's little, little helper. Is going to grow. Of and course. so that they need to be able to accommodate it. So the idea is that if you buy one of these aprons and your child is, say, only five years old, hopefully by the time they're 12, it will still fit them. Or maybe even older. Um, You're clearly expecting a, a good longevity of life of yeah. this of your products, yes, yes. and that's important, because, of course. You know, having children is expensive, and you you want something which is actually going to last and isn't going to be outgrown within about six months. And I can see some other products behind you there near your cooker. Yes. So what what have you got there? Well, as we're on to children, this is one of the children's oven gloves. So compared to an adult oven glove, considerably smaller, um, with little pockets. I always remember, never mind the quality, feel the width. But in this case, it's never mind the width, look at the quality. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So um, all of my oven gloves are backed with toweling. Uh, this means that it absorbs any cooking juices, anything like that. And then as we were talking earlier, it then has um, a thermal inside. I also put a little bit of wadding, which just gives the, the feeling of quality. But inside the pockets, I use recycled cotton. So it might be from um, old sheets or um, tablecloths. Uh, whatever I can get my hands on. Uh, I just don't like to throw things away. And then I use bias binding to fix it all together. I heard you tap that then and it was clearly a good depth pad yeah. sound. And, and it, I don't think you can hear, but it has a bit of a scrunch. And that's the, um, that, that's, that's the insulation material inside. And so it, it has that feeling of quality. Um, the fabric designs, I just, well, as I said earlier, I just choose things that I like. And I love ha hairs. This is my Harry hair collection. Um, what's, what's the little square item there that I can okay. see? This is called a pot grab. So it can be hung up. You always have a bit of a hanger. And you can put your pots on it when you're busy cooking. Or if you've got an oven mitt, which again is lined, um, and you've got a pot, I don't have any pots available at the moment. Let's take a teapot, that will do. And you're holding this and it's quite heavy and you want to put it down somewhere, you can actually put your hand underneath and rest the pot 
on it. So it's it's very useful. So again, the pad is insulated. All of, yes, they are all insulated, and again, it's got the toe toweling on the back. The the little pop grabs, I I do. Um, uh, I, I just sort of do a bit of a crisscross design, but I also do chef's pads or Arga, um, Arga hot plate covers or Rayburn covers, um, which are quite similar to this. And again, you can put pans on top, um, which or plates on top whilst they're warming. And do I see in the background also there a tea cosy? Yes, and then I have a, three different sizes of tea cosy. Uh, again, they're, they're cotton lined, and so we have a very small one. This is the medium sized one, and then a much bigger um, one. Again, I, I designed it on the teapots that I've got. <laughs> so, so I've got a sort of big Victorian teapot, so they're, they're for the big one. And this this is the, the, the most popular because it fits most sort of uh, teapots that will do two to four. Um, cups and then I just happen to have this little teapot and so the the small one is designed to fit. Is that where your funky chicken idea comes from? Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sue it's been great to talk to you today and uh, let's Ooh, let's. I forgot one other thing. Can oh right yes of course. My roller towels they are very important. Argus um, and Rayburns and actually even these type ones, when you put a towel on the rail, inevitably you lean on it and it falls off. So I have my roller towels which are attached with poppers and they go around a bar. So it could be on a, a cooker but it could also be in, I, I have them in my downstairs loom. Um, so anywhere basically that's got a bar you can stick it on they're rather fun and they're also very functional excellent excellent yeah. i'm going to bring it to a close uh, and let's say that we will talk to you again in the future because clearly you've got new ideas on the go yes. and your your mind is a whirl it is. we can see it in your <laughs> eyes about the, and the passion as you're talking for your product it it, it stands out and Thank you very much for your time today Thank you. and um, we look forward to chatting again in the future.